Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another journey with exciting archaeology news. In this episode, we shall set off on a thrilling exploration of 12 astounding recent archaeological and paleontological discoveries that will leave you in awe. Be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our exciting episodes. Starting at number 12, we have a remarkable discovery in Croatia. A Roman chariot and two horses found in an impressively well-preserved state. This discovery stands out because such elaborate burials, dating back 1,700 years, were typically reserved for wealthy families who could afford such extravagance. The burial mound suggests an important and notable person, possibly belonging to a whole family, was interred here. As the excavation progresses, experts anticipate uncovering more remains within the site. It is speculated that the horses buried alongside the chariot may have been intended to serve their owner in the afterlife, indicating the significance of the individual's status. Proceeding to number 11, while we cannot definitively determine the Swiss Stonehenge's original use, we can confidently state the nature of our next discovery. It is a Pictish mass grave and may turn out to be the largest ever found in Scotland once fully excavated. This burial site is situated on Scotland's Black Island and was uncovered in September of this year. The area contains various burrows of different shapes and sizes, with the smallest measuring 25 feet across and the largest spanning over 130 feet. These burials are estimated to be approximately 1,400 years old. The discovery came after an extensive search by archaeologists who were led to the site by finding a Pictish stone six miles away earlier in the year, suggesting previously unknown Pictish activity in the region. Interestingly, there are indications that the Picts may have reused a much older burial site, as some of the artifacts found so far appear to be of prehistoric origin. We now find ourselves at number 10 as we venture to Egypt, where a fascinating archaeological find has come to light during construction work. A hidden temple dating back 2,200 years was uncovered on the banks of the Nile River in the city of Tama. This ancient structure contains engravings referring to King Ptolemy IV, a pharaoh known for his intriguing history. Unlike other pharaohs, King Ptolemy IV seemed reluctant to assume leadership and preferred the arts over making important decisions. This lack of strong governance eventually led to a revolt by his people, resulting in his overthrow and deposition. Currently, three of the temple's walls have been revealed, with experts diligently working to uncover the remainder of the structure. Among the intricate engravings, we find representations of Hapi, the Egyptian god of flooding. Moving on to number nine, a fascinating discovery was made by a young boy named Zhang Yangzi, age 10, in China's Guangdong province. While innocently playing with stones near the Dong River, Zhang stumbled upon unusual objects that caught his attention. He called his mother, who suspected they might be dinosaur eggs. Experts later confirmed that the 11 eggs Zhang found date back more than 66 million years to the Cretaceous period, making them authentic dinosaur eggs. This showcases that anyone with an inquisitive mind and interest in science, regardless of their background, can contribute to important discoveries. Continuing on to number 8. Our understanding of ancient human migration has been challenged by a remarkable discovery of 45,000-year-old quartz tools in Sri Lanka's rainforests, the oldest tools of their kind ever found in South Asia. Historically, it was believed that early humans preferred open plains over rainforests due to the challenging environment of the latter, filled with heat and formidable animals. However, these ancient tools, specifically designed for attacking tree-dwelling animals, indicate a different narrative. Similar tools found in Europe from the same period differ significantly from their Sri Lankan counterparts, suggesting diverse technological developments among ancient human populations. Interestingly, these quartz tools from Sri Lanka share similarities with tools discovered in the Fahai Cave, which are only 4,000 years old, implying limited technological progress in the region over almost 40,000 years. Now, at number seven, we come across an intriguing ancient practice of building stone circles that was popular among our ancestors thousands of years ago. However, the reason behind their construction remains a mystery to us. Recently, an underwater stone circle was discovered beneath Lake Constance, leaving us with many questions. The formation of stones, undoubtedly placed by human hands, runs parallel to Switzerland's shoreline and has earned the nickname Swiss Stonehenge in the media. These eight-foot-wide stones now rest 15 feet below the water's surface, but experts believe that 5,000 years ago, when they were placed, they would have been either on the shoreline or in shallow water. 
The landscape has changed significantly over the millennia, making it challenging to speculate about the purpose of the stone circle. It could have served as burial mounds, weirs, or even signposts denoting primitive trade routes. Moving on to number six, we encounter a captivating discovery in Bosnia which has drawn comparisons to the legendary sword Excalibur of King Arthur. A team of divers ventured 40 feet into the depths of the Verbas River, where they retrieved a sword that had been lodged in stone for centuries. Though not King Arthur's actual sword, as its existence remains uncertain, the discovery is a rare and fascinating find in its own right. The long sword features a style that originated in the 14th century and is associated with a term that we shall not repeat here due to its derogatory nature. During this era, the Zvekaj Fortress in Reykjavis was operational unlike its current state of ruins. This extraordinary artifact, after proper cleaning and restoration, is expected to become a prominent exhibit in museums. Then, at number 5, an intriguing Roman shipwreck lies off the coast of Majorca, resting underwater for nearly 1,700 years. In an unfortunate incident, a significant cargo of beautiful amphorae was lost during this maritime mishap. Surprisingly, despite their long submersion, the amphorae remain remarkably well-preserved, raising hopes of a belated delivery. The ship itself was a wooden vessel, measuring approximately 35 feet in width, likely serving as a trading ship during its time. The reason for its sinking remains unknown, but the shipwreck occurred barely 100 feet from the coast, suggesting it might have been overloaded, leading to its swift demise. The amphorae, still sealed, likely contain remnants of wine, olive oil, or fish sauce, which they were typically used to transport. Experts now cautiously plan to raise and open them, possibly revealing the ancient contents. However, it is strongly advised against attempting to consume any potential wine found within. Continuing to number four, paleontologists have made an exciting find in Australia, a previously unknown species of dinosaur. This discovery took place in an ancient rift valley between Australia and Antarctica approximately 120 million years ago. This small dinosaur bears a resemblance to a modern-day gazelle and is believed to have been a swift runner, no larger than a kangaroo when standing on its hind legs. Its jaw structure suggests a preference for consuming birds as part of its diet, leading to its name, Gallianosaurus, due to its jaw's similarity to an old galleon-style sailing ship. This finding adds to the growing knowledge of Australia's diverse dinosaur population, with the herbivorous Cantosaurus also discovered in the region last year. Our journey now takes us to number three, where early Christians faced the threat of persecution but persevered in creating remarkable works of art, one of which has been recently unearthed near the Sea of Galilee. This masterpiece, a mosaic depicting Christ's miraculous feeding of the 5,000 with loaves of bread, was discovered in a church in Hippos, Israel, dating back 1,500 years. Despite the church's near-complete destruction by fire around 700 AD, the mosaic miraculously survived unharmed due to a protective layer of ash. Additionally, the church's floor, adorned with a mosaic showing two birds drinking from a goblet, has remarkably endured the passage of time in perfect condition. Although the site's existence has been known since 2005, recent excavations have only just begun, and archaeologists are eager to uncover more captivating artifacts as their work progresses. Then, at number two, prepare to be awestruck as we encounter a remarkable avian giant from two million years ago, a bird standing over 11 feet tall, towering like a majestic giraffe, and weighing a staggering 500 pounds during its prime. This extraordinary creature, known as Pacastruthio demanisensis, shared resemblances with ostriches or emus, but surpassed them in size to a degree unseen among its modern relatives. Discovered on the northern coast of the Black Sea in 2018, the finding of this colossal flightless bird was the result of a fortuitous accident. Road workers, while carrying out their routine tasks, unwittingly stumbled upon a previously unknown prehistoric cave, which to their amazement, held a treasure trove of ancient wonders. Among the trove were the bones of this gigantic bird, which captured the imagination of researchers and ignited a fervor of exploration. As experts delve deeper into the mysteries of this long-extinct avian species, they strive to uncover the reasons behind its disappearance from the face of the earth. Speculation abounds as to why a creature of such size and strength met its fate, with theories revolving around predation and ecological factors. Undoubtedly, such discoveries offer a glimpse into the astonishing diversity of life that once graced our planet. 
As we uncover these prehistoric marvels, our sense of wonder and appreciation for the wonders of evolution only deepens, reminding us of the countless untold stories waiting to be unearthed and shared with the world. Finally, at number one, a truly fascinating discovery awaits. Millions of years ago, Earth was home to astounding creatures that have long vanished from our planet. Among them, an awe-inspiring ancient species emerges, a giant lion comparable in size to a polar bear, which once roamed the prehistoric landscape some 20 million years ago. Fortunately, these colossal predators pose no threat to modern humans, having long disappeared from the ecological stage. The story of this gigantic lion takes an unexpected twist as we learn that its fossilized remains had an intriguing journey of their own. Misfiled by accident, these precious fossils lay hidden away in the drawers of a Kenyan museum since the 1970s, unbeknownst to the world. Only recently, a stroke of luck led to their rediscovery and proper examination, revealing the magnitude of this ancient creature and sparking a renewed fascination among researchers and enthusiasts alike. The scientific community christened this majestic species as Simba Kubwa Kutokafrika a name that pays tribute to its African origins and reflects the magnitude of its size. As we uncover more of these prehistoric marvels, we are reminded of the mysteries that still lie beneath the Earth's surface and the excitement of unveiling secrets from our distant past. Join us for the next part of our journey, where we'll unveil more enthralling archaeological and paleontological discoveries from around the world. Thank you for being a part of this thrilling exploration. Stay curious and engaged in the intriguing realms of history and science. Don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss an episode.